yes, today I will be making a beer. What's up everyone? So not your normal vlog that you might see from me. This will be the first of hopefully many beer vlogs that I'm gonna be doing because as some of my friends know, it's a passion that I have and something I enjoy doing. Although I haven't done much of it because it does take a long time as you'll see from today's video. Making beer for me usually takes anywhere between six to eight hours. So the aim of the vlog today is just to show you guys what I get up to when I make beer talk a little bit about why I like to make beer and why I like beer so much. And hopefully you'll get to see the process from beginning to end of what it takes to make your own beer at home and maybe it's something you'll wanna to do too. But before we can make any beer at all, all of this stuff behind me is gonna need cleaning because you don't want any contamination in the beer to spoil the drink when it's done. So yeah, without further ado, let's clean. What down they vote? So what I'm actually doing here is uh, giving everything a once over with some soap and a sponge. Nothing is that dirty, we're just uh, bringing it back to life before we then use the sanitizer to make sure that it is absolutely clean for what we need to do. But as you can see, it's a long old process, uh, but it takes up most of the time when it comes to brewing beer. Here is the actual boiler. So what we're gonna do now is make sure that this gets a real good clean so that we can begin boiling the water that we need for the mash. Okay, so very happy now with the level of cleanliness that we've got on the boiler. The mash tun is sitting right out there, drying off. Now, what we're gonna do, like I said before, is we're gonna now mix a batch of sanitizer up so that we can deep clean everything, make sure that it's nice and clean for the beer to go into, as well as give all of our other smaller objects that we use throughout the brewing process a nice big clean. Make some sanitizer, get everything up to scratch. Okay, so just a quick update. Up there we have the hot liquor tub, which is the boiler, and that boils the water to the temperature you need it to make the beer. Down below here, I have the mash tun which is where you mix the water and the grains. Now, the reason why I've got it in a towel is because I'm getting it up to temperature so that when I transfer the water from the hot liquor tub into the mash tun, I don't get a drop in temperature and therefore I can't make a suitable mash. So that's why it's wrapped up basically to get it up to temperature so that when I transfer from there to there, we maintain the same heat. So the recipe that I'm following is for a unique tasting Bavarian style Weiss beer. I am using 2.7 kilograms of wheat malt and 2.3 kilograms of Pilsner malt. For the boil, I'll be adding 25 grams of Hallertauer Hersbrucker hops and 12 grams of Sars hops at the start of the boil, which will be for about an hour and 10 minutes. The yeast I'm using for fermentation is W yeast 3068 Weihensteppen Weissen. And now back to the brew. It's now been about two and a half hours since we started brewing today and we haven't even got around to the main brew process. We've just been cleaning, we've just been boiling up the water. I've taken off the towel because what we're gonna do is we're gonna check the temperature to see if we have a high enough temperature to begin the mash process. If it's anywhere near 65 to 70 degrees, I'll be happy. That will mean that between the time it takes to drain the hot liquor tub into the mash tun for mixing with the grains, we won't lose too many degrees in temperature and we'll be able to begin the mash at the correct temperature for the process. Okay, so what do we have here? We have got a temperature of 65 degrees. Excellent, so we have a temperature of around 65 to 70 degrees in there that's the water temperature the atmospheric temperature is going to be far lower every time we open that lid it's going to drop so what we now need to do is drain the water from the mash tun into this empty bucket that i have there and then transfer the hot water from there into there and get the grains in mixed up and the lid closed on time so that we can maintain a temperature of 65 degrees for one hour Slowly pour in, there we go. 
Okay, so we're just stirring it around now to make sure there are no dough balls or balls of grain which aren't separate enough for the, the water to get in. But this will be what we call wort at the end of it. So now that that's all in, I'm very happy with that. Close the lid, towel on. Okay, so there you go. We have mixed the grain. Hopefully that the temperature of the water now will maintain 65 degrees for one hour and then we drain it off for the next process. So um, what do you do in an hour? I reckon it's time to have a beer of my own. So that's what I'm gonna do, okay? Cheers. Cheers. So why do I like beer so much? I guess you could say it's the go-to drink that I've grown up drinking when I've gone out with my friends. I'd say it was about three or four years ago that I actually got into my ales big time. The reason why I probably love it so much is the craft beer scene where you can get all sorts of flavors, all sorts of smells, all sorts of strengths. IPAs, pale ales, golden ales, you've got your ambers, you've got your blondes, you've got your porters, you've got your stouts, you've got your German beers, your Weiss beers. Anything you want, you can now have in a beer. So many breweries out there are experimenting with different flavor combinations, different hop combinations, different grain combinations, and literally the sky is now the limit. People say they don't like beer, but then they probably haven't even experimented with the different types of beers that are out there, because I guarantee you there is one that you will enjoy out there. So it was a couple of years ago that I decided I would like to brew my own beer, and with a little bit of help from Serena, her sister, her mum, they all chipped in, and for my Christmas present a couple of years ago, they bought me a home brewing kit. So it was quite expensive and it involved all the kit that I would need so that I could do multi-grain brewing at home. And it's not been easy, it's a difficult process to grasp. There's a lot of trial and error, shall we say. There's a lot of experimentation. There's also a lot of times where things go wrong. So you have to keep on taking notes, you have to keep on making judgments, and you have to keep on improving the method by which you make the beer. But then, of course, there are other types of beers you could make, other types of ales. So not every time is the same time as the one before. So again, it's just you know about making enough beer to enjoy yourself, share it with your friends, gaining enough experience and knowledge to be able to continue that process so that you always have your own beer. Once you've finished one, you've got a new one to begin. So that's where I kind of want to get to at the moment. I've made a golden ale, an IPA, a Saison, a Porter, and now I'm making a Weiss beer, which is a German wheat beer. So looking forward to that. Once I find out where I stand with the ones that I liked the most, the ones that I thought I did the best, I'll begin to refine those recipes and hopefully I can take it to a point where someday I'm in a position to actually brew my own beer and sell it. There would be nothing I love more than to make my own beer and sell it at trade shows, at festivals, and in general, just maybe make a business out of it. I would like that. But yeah, the boil is almost over, so we're gonna go back in and begin the chilling process by where we cool down the wort to the temperature that it needs to be at for fermentation and then we will pitch the yeast and then we will lock it up for the next two weeks and then a further three weeks after that. So yeah, looking forward to it, like I said, that's why I love beer, it's a brief story, I know it's quite long, hopefully you didn't get too bored there, but maybe you will taste one of my beers soon. Cheers. It has been an hour now since we began mashing uh, which means the grains have been sitting in water that is at 65 degrees Celsius and hopefully that will have broken down the grains into the sugars that we need to then boil and create the beer. The mash tun will be emptied by a process which we call sparging and that is going to involve the water that I've been boiling to make up the 27 litres that we need for the beer being transferred via a hose and spiral spout system to wash through the grains and remove all the sugar that we need to create the beer. So we're gonna do the sparge now and it actually takes quite a bit of time. So what we'll do is we'll show you a few shots and then we'll join back at the boiling process. 
Okay, so this is our mash, which to me feels really good actually. Um, quite happy with that. That texture, that thickness, it's moving around quite freely. So hopefully that's all broken down very well. So we'll get onto the sparge. Okay, so our <laughs> this is what's happening to me right now. This is what's happening to me now. Every time I try and film. Hey, yay. Mm -hmm. I know, I know, I know. I want beer as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, good boy, Lando. Stop, no more, okay? No more, no, no more, no more, no more. Stop it. <laughs> stop it! Stop! 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 No! No more! No more! I have to film. Oh, it's just so sweet. I can't. Oh, oh, that went in the mouth as well. Enough. Okay, right. So, okay, so back to the beer. Uh, what we want is about where it's at now. Twenty-seven liters to boil. So we're gonna stop that. Uh, that's what it looks like that kind of color so uh, it looks nice brown greeny color but we boil all of that out and it should become a nice cloudy beer color that you're used to buying in the supermarkets yeah so uh, just gonna stop that now and uh, transfer it to the beer kettle and get boiling Boil now for an hour and a half. Add the hops, done. As you can see now, we've got the beer to the temperature. It needs to have a rolling boil. This is the time to add the hops. They go in at the start of the boil. I've weighed up the amount that we need, so we're gonna put those in now, and then we'll put the lid back on, and we'll just make sure we tend to it every now and then to make sure that it doesn't boil over and that everything's being circulated fine. But that's it, here they go. in happy days Whew. okay so the time the time is now 10 o'clock and uh, as you can see outside the night sky is well and truly present but the alarm has just gone off so far it's been boiling out there for about 55 minutes so what we're going to do now is we're going to take the coil that we use to cool the work down and we're going to put that in so that it sanitizes itself in the beer and then uh, we're also going to put in a Werflock tablet which is a protein used to bind the proteins in the beer together to make it clearer so it's a clarifying agent so that's what we're going to do now. We're going to put in the coil, put in a tablet, and then boil for another 15 minutes. Look who's come to visit, Lola. How are you doing? You're making the vlog, guys. Video. Okay, so now the time is 10 past 11. It's taken roughly 50 minutes to get that to drop down to 22 degrees centigrade for us to begin fermentation. So we're just transferring the wort now into the fermenter bucket. And once that's in there, we can oxygenate it and then we can pitch the yeast and then we just leave it to ferment for two weeks. So yeah, I'll just show you that filling up now. Okay, so with every batch of beer you make, there's gonna be a different type of yeast. 
This one is Y Henstep and Wheat Yeast. It comes in a pack which I've kept in the fridge to keep fresh. So what I'm going to have to do now is I'm going to have to break the seal in this pack and then pour that liquid into the mixture just behind me in the fermenting tub. So we have smacked the yeast pack, which means the yeast inside this packet is beginning to populate. And now we're going to add it to our beer behind us. And yeah, that'll be the end of the process. A cool 11.30 p.m. And there we go, we have our yeast inside our beer and we are going to put the lid on that we have fully sanitized and we're gonna seal this now and hopefully in two weeks time that will be the first fermentation period done with. I feel shattered. It is quarter to 12 p.m. I began brewing at 4 p.m. this afternoon. Brewing is all about becoming efficient and working on the processes to make them better for the future. So hopefully the more I do this, I'll get better at it and spot the areas in which I can become more efficient to speed up the whole process. But remember, it's all about quality. I think it's a theme running through all of the videos I'm doing lately where it's again, not about how fast you get there. It's about the quality once you've gotten there. So that's what I'm concentrating on. Hopefully in that blue tub behind me, we'll have a good fermentation and then we can come back to this video in the future and do the bottling phase where we're going to put the beer into the bottles and then they'll further ferment in the bottle and then we will get to drink it. So I'm looking forward to that. Fermentation now, next step, bottling and yeah, that's how you make beer. So I hope this video has been an enjoyment to watch. I found this video quite hard to make, to be fair. Going through the process of making the beer, trying to make the filming aspect entertaining whilst giving you all the information you need of the process I'm going through, I did find that quite hard. I also found the first ride vlog in the car hard, and I also found the first time I ever took Lando out for a walk filming it quite hard. But the more you do these things, the better you get at them. So again, reverting back to that, process of it being a marathon not a sprint hopefully you've enjoyed the video i have enjoyed making it but like i said it is now coming up to midnight and i need to go to bed because i'm up in five hours see you soon come here so that's bye from me and bye from lando yes lando